I cannot tell you the amount of times I started over. So many times. So many times I died. So many times I was born again. So many times I redefined myself. So many times I needed to remember who I was. And I got through it. I got through those times. And I am here and I am still doing it. Like this is an ongoing process. You know, the evolution is never stopping. If you're starting over, if you don't actually know where you're going, it's very important that you do things that ground you, that you have a sort of routine so that you actually have this sense of safety and you can think with clarity. We are in a time where we can choose, where we are the directors of our own movies, our own lives. We're also in a time where what was before, the structure, the systems that were in place are falling apart. We don't want to be like our parents. We don't want to have a life of just being in a box and being stuck in jobs that we don't like and having a cap on our income and not being free to do whatever we want, right? So this is a time of change. This is a time where we can actually decide we've always been especially as as women we've always been told what to do we've always been limited in some sort of way but right now this time is huge it's it's a huge moment for us because we can actually decide and we always could decide but now we have all the tools at our disposal to be able to change our lives. I think as women also, we go through a thousand deaths and a thousand rebirths. We're in a constant cycle of dying and being born again, you know? And so don't be afraid when things are falling apart in your life. Don't be afraid when there is chaos in your life because chaos is just shaking things up so that the only thing that remains are the things that are worth it, are the things that are worthwhile fighting for and so if you're in a moment of chaos if you're in a moment of uncertainty of doubt of all the things in your life that you felt were safe for you are falling apart this is normal you are okay you will be fine you will be fine you don't know how many people on this earth since the beginning of time have survived for you to be here for you to experience this life for you to be watching this video right now. You don't know how many people have fallen in love and have survived for you to be born at this time on earth. You're literally a miracle. So if you feel like you're starting over again for the millionth time, if you feel like you're not good enough, if you feel like you're behind, if you feel like you don't know where you're going, it's normal. And also let me tell you, it's temporary. This is going to change. This moment is for you to actually realize who you actually are, who you want to be, who you're meant to be. Because the truth is that you can choose. You can choose to either stay where you were before or choose a different life for yourself and get out of your comfort zone. And sometimes it's scary because a lot of things that we want to do are not familiar to us. So if you were born in a family where there was there was no financial abundance, where there was lack, and you want abundance, abundance is not going to be familiar or safe to you because what was safe for you was the lack, right? And so that requires a, a shift in your mindset that requires a shift in your energy as well so what are you energetically attracting to you what are you tuning yourself into what are you focusing your attention into are you focusing your attention on the problems or on the solutions because what you focus your attention to grows what do you want to see grow in your life right because there's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be a sort of chaos. The perfect life all figured out does not exist. There's always going to be something. But what you need to do and what we need to be doing in this time is to adjust ourselves to being our own source of safety. Safety comes from inside. Joy, love, peace, everything you want comes from the inside. 
okay? So if you're looking at the external to give you validation, to give you safety, you're always going to depend on something. You're always going to give your power away to other people or other situations to validate you, to protect you, to bring you a sense of safety, right? But that's not the whole truth here. The truth is that you need to be your own source of safety and your own source of love, right? And for that to become a reality, you need to change your mindset. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what you've done till this moment. Up till now, you have made some choices and now you can make different choices. You're always, always, always on time to change, to decide something else, to choose something else, okay? Your identity is flexible. You can change. You can decide who you want to be, who you prefer to be. This is a time to reinvent yourself, to actually decide who is it that you want to be. And I really recommend you to write this down. Who do you prefer to be? In your relationships, in your career, in your home, in your personal life, how do you prefer to show up from now on? What are you going to do from now on to change the situation? If you want your life to change, you are going to have to change your perspectives also. It's time to get clear on what you want. It's time to give yourself direction and stop listening to your environment for validation or for safety or for love and start giving it to yourself. Give yourself six months to figure it out, to become that new version of you, to actually get some clarity on who you are and where you want to go. Because your life depends on that. Your life depends on your choices. So from where are you making those choices? Are you making your choices from fear or are you making your choices from love? Because those are two very different outcomes. No matter what, life is going to be uncomfortable. No matter what, there's going to be challenges. No matter what, you're going to be required to get out of your comfort zone and to do things you've never done before. So it's just a matter of choice. How do you want to show up for yourself? Do you want to be the hero in your own story? Do you want to do that? What do you want to tell your grandkids about your life and what you did and what you overcame? Because you're going to overcome some shit. Let me tell you, things are going to happen in your life whether you want it or not. We can't control what's going on in the external. The only thing you can control and we can control as human beings is what's going on in the internal. What's your internal state? Okay, because your internal state is going to attract things to you. So if your inter internal state is, I am not good enough, I don't have money, I don't have love, I don't have what it, what it takes, I'm not capable. Can you imagine what all of that is attracting into your life? It's attracting more lack. It's attracting more situations where you feel like you're not good enough and where you feel like you need to please other people and when you feel like other people are ahead of you. You're attracting those things, okay? So if you want to attract something else, if you want to start over and actually attract things that are for you and that you're ready to receive, then become ready to receive those things. Become ready to say, I am good enough. I am worthy of my desires. My desires feel safe for me to have. Okay, because if you want abundance, if you want money, if you want freedom, that needs to feel safe in your body. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to maintain that level of abundance in that next level, okay? One of the biggest roadblocks that we have and that holds us back from having the life that we really want is the feeling and the belief that we are not good enough. So we need to look back in our childhood. Where do you feel like you got that belief from? Who told you that you were not good enough? When was the first time that you felt that you were not good enough? How did you protect yourself from people who were harming you or from your environment? Because those things you carry with you all the time. So once you become aware of where those beliefs come from, you can actually choose if you want to keep them or if you want to release them. Are those beliefs serving you? Yes or no? And the, if the answer is no, you can drop them. You can drop anything that is not yours to carry. 
most of our beliefs about ourselves and what's possible for us has been programmed into us when we were children. The relationship with your parents, the relationship with your environment when you were a child is very important because it's what programmed you to be the adult that you are right now. And so, once you become aware of this programming, you can start changing it, okay? And you can start changing your life. For me, what happened is that I went to a plant medicine retreat back in 2021. And I was completely lost. I didn't know what my purpose was. I didn't know what my mission was. I was looking for answers because everything that I felt was safe for me. So the job that I was in, I had a nine to five, the relationship that I was in, who, which was very stable and very healthy, everything started crumbling down in my life. And I realized that I didn't want those things anymore, but I didn't know what I wanted. And so I found myself in this limbo of, I need to look for answers right now. And so I went to that plant medicine retreat to get the answers from, from within, right? And so what happened is that from that moment, my life changed because all the things that I used to find safety from were gone. They were completely gone. And I cannot tell you the amount of times I started over. So many times. So many times I died. So many times I was born again. So many times I redefined myself. So many times I needed to remember who I was. And I got through it. I got through those times. And I am here. And I am still doing it. Like, this is an ongoing process. You know, the evolution is never stopping. It doesn't stop. There is a way for you to bring safety into your life because when there's chaos outside when there's doubts when you don't know actually where you are going you can actually bring some safety into your body because your body is your home it's your vessel it's sacred okay and so practices that ground you have resulted very very beneficial for me because i used to have a lot of anxiety and also depression what got me out of that was actually grounding practices which means getting back into your body so breathing meditation exercising is a very good one get yourself at a yoga class or at the gym or like do some sort of exercise i swear to god this is going to save you i was not at all oh, a fan of exercising i hated it i hated moving my body i hated all things exercising until i started and i became addicted to it because you know what it does feel really good you release a lot of hormones that are good for you and that bring you a sense of joy a sense of accomplishment a sense of you're doing something good for yourself a sense of freedom because you're choosing actually a sense of discipline a sense of, a sense of consistency so if you're starting over, if you don't actually know where you're going, it's very important that you do things that ground you, that you have a sort of routine so that you actually have this sense of safety and you can think with clarity. If you need to go through grief of your old life, of who you were before, of a past relationship, it's important that you do so. It's important that you give yourself the time to go through that grief, to feel those feelings of sadness, of loss, because they're normal. If you repress and suppress feelings and go on with your life, it's gonna come back at you later. It is going to come back at you later. You're going to attract things in your life that will bring that up for you to feel it, okay? Because emotions are there for you to feel them. So the more you feel the emotions as they come up, the more you can release them out of your body and you can move on in your life if you need to grieve that old version of you or that old life or that old relationship that you had that brought you safety or even habits that you used to have that are no longer aligned with who you want to be but that used to bring you safety it's okay and it's normal when you're starting over to be sad and to have this feeling of of loss you know so write it down get yourself a coach hire a therapist 
hire someone who can be there for you and who can hold space for you for you to release your emotions it's very important that you allow yourself to feel because in your new chapter in that next level of life that you're entering it is required for you to be able to process your emotions in a healthy way we're not about suppressing anymore we're about feeling and expressing in healthy ways right think about your next relationship think about if you want to have kids one one day how do you want to show up do you want to be able to process your emotions in a healthy way so that you can have healthy relationships i think so so if you're starting over if right now is a time for you of great emotions then let them be released this is temporary this is just a clearing a purging for you to start over with a clean slate right and to release everything from the past that's no longer serving you. So it's completely normal if you are starting over to feel like that. To feel lost, to feel like you don't recognize yourself anymore or your life anymore. It's normal. It's okay. We humans are so wired for safety and for what's familiar. And sometimes the fear can creep in. But remind yourself, this is temporary. The next level of you is waiting for you to receive it to open up to a new level of you so this is also a time as i said to reinvent yourself to decide who you want to be to decide who do you prefer to be get the support that you need because as a matter of fact this is a collective thing i'm talking about this because i went through this i know so many people who went through this my clients are going through this as well and so as this is a collective thing we're going through a big huge transition a big huge transformation in how we show up in in our lives and in who we decide to be this is huge we're all in this together and so this is why i talk so much about support because it's important we're here to support each other and there are good people there are good people on earth who can support you and who can actually be there for you but give yourself time to figure it out give yourself six months give yourself a year almost give yourself time to release and to relax because we've been so used to the burnout the fight or flight the ongoing stress that when you stop that life and want to slow down what happens is that you're exhausted that you need to rest so if you need to rest if you feel like you want to sleep more and that you need more to eat more do that your body will tell you okay pay attention to what your body is telling you if you need more rest get more rest if you need to eat more eat more if you need to exercise and release more do that okay you need to be listening to your body much more than you have been throughout your whole life this is the time where your body is going to guide you and it's going to tell you what you need okay practice listening to your intuition okay when you have this this nudge when you have this feeling that you know something act on it do something about it and you will feel if it was right or not right to do but most of the times a hundred percent of the times your intuition is right your intuition will direct you where you want to be and where you need to be because your higher self knows that best version of you that you are becoming knows already the steps okay so let yourself be guided it's okay if there's unknown it's okay if there is still doubt in the air of where your life is going what you're going to do it's fine this is the universe rearranging things for you chaos is just a time of rearrangement okay it's like a storm and then after the storm there's clear skies so the clear sky is going to come you just need to hold on to what makes you feel safe bring that safety back into your body bring that love back into your body get clear on who you are on who you prefer to be on what your values are and get going get moving act from your intuition if your intuition tells you something go and do it you need to also start making a difference between what's your fear and what's your intuition okay an easy way to do this is when you have a nudge or something that you feel like it's your intuition but you're not sure if it's your fear you can feel into that feeling where is it in your body where is it located and then is it expanding or is it contracting if it's contracting it's fear if it's expanding it's intuition in it, even if it's a bit scary to do it because it's out of your comfort zone if it's going to expand you you need to do that 
remember that you don't have to have everything figured out right now you just have to move one step at a time one day at a time and you will get there i hope that you got something valuable from this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one